point A that is R. A R perpendicular to P A and similarly P S perpendicular to B A. Okay, so we we'll write here draw A L perpendicular to O X then P M perpendicular to O X B M perpendicular to O X right also for A R perpendicular to P L A R perpendicular to P L and for B P S perpendicular to P S perpendicular to B L okay here see if you see properly A A R perpendicular to coordinates are what X one Y one right so it means that what is here X1. So here what? It means O to L distance is X1. Correct? Now here, from here O to this distance, right? So what is this distance? This distance is Y. Correct? So this Y1. Okay, so this X1 OL and this Y1. Right? So this means this O A to L distance is Y1. Right? Now if this A L is Y1, then R L is also Y one, correct? Now here O to L means P having the coordinates are x comma y. It means that O to L distance from here to here distance is equal x, correct? And this vertical distance is from P to L is total is what you are y, correct? Total is y. And for that here if this is P L is one, so exactly this S L is also. Here, from here, your distance is y, right? Now here, again, let's come in here from O to L. So what are the coordinates of L? L point on the line B, x to y. So here, from O to L, your distance is what you are x to, right? And from B to from this L, this distance is y to. Okay. Now here, we will write O x. O L equals to we will write O L equals to what x one correct O L equals to x one O L equals to x O L equals to x then O L equals to how much O L equals to x two correct O L equals to x two and again A L equals to R L A L equals to R L equals to what? Y one, right? Y one. Then here P L equals to S L, correct? P L equals to S L equals to Y, right? So P L equals to S L equals to Y. Again, for here B L total distance B L is what? Y two, right? And B L equals to Y two. Okay. Now see here we have to find L N and L N. Okay. So L N and equals to A R, right? So if we find L N, then everything will get A R, correct? So L N is what? See this total distance O L minus O X is from O this X distance. If we minus this O L, O L will be get L N, correct? So here L N equals to what? X total x minus this x one, right? So here x minus x one. So if this x minus x one, then what about the a r, right? Here this also x minus x one. Okay, so we write l n 
N M equals to P H, correct? So N M equals to P S and it equals to what X two minus X, correct? So here X two minus X, right? Similarly, you will find the distance of P R. So what about the P R? This P R how we can find C? P to N total distance is for your Y, right? So P to N is Y. So Y and this R N is for Y. So from this total distance, if you subtract this, then you will get P R, correct? So here Y minus Y equals to P R, right? So P R equals to Y minus Y one. P R this P R equals to total is P N minus R. So P N is for your Y and R and this Y one, correct? So Y minus Y one. And here we will find this P N distance. So and P S distance. B S distance equals to what? How to find B S distance? Yes, correct. This B M minus S N. So what is B M? B M is what? Y two and S N is what? Y correct. So Y two minus Y then you will get B S distance, right? So here B S equals to Y two minus Y. Okay. This B S equals to Y two minus Y. Okay, now we got this side, this side, this side, and this side. Right? If you see this properly, you will get this here two triangles are there, right? So in this triangle, we got this side, we got this side, this side, and this side also. Now, what is the relation between these two triangles? See, this triangle is triangle because of AR perpendicular to PN, and here PS perpendicular to BN. So these are perpendicular, so these angles are right angles. Angle A R P equals angle P S B. Angle B is each. And these two lines parallel and intersected by these junctions, and then this angle will be what? Say that is the corresponding angle. So by A A similarity criteria, these two triangles are similar. Similar, correct? So clearly we can write here. Clearly. Triangle. These two triangles, angle A R P and angle P S B, right? Triangle A R P and triangle P S B are similar. Okay. By which criteria? A A similarity criteria, right? So when the two triangles are similar, then we can write the ratio of their corresponding sides, right? So sides are in a proportion. So we can write here. Okay. Here we can write triangle with this triangle. In triangle A R P A R P and triangle this triangle P S B triangle P S B. What A R upon P S? Okay, A R upon P S equals to R P upon S B. R P upon S B equals to A P upon P B. A P upon P B. Understood? How to write the ratio of both sides? Okay, then what about the A R? A R we have got here. A R A R equals to what? X minus X one. So we write here X minus X one. Now on P S, what about the P S? P S is what? X two minus X. Okay. X two minus X. Then equals to R P. R P what? Is here the one R P? A R here P S. R P is P R P R P is R P correct? So R P equals to what? Y minus Y one. Y minus Y one upon S B means B S you are correct. So Y two minus Y. Y two minus Y equals to A B by P B what? N by N. Now we will compare this each with this ratio, right? So X minus X one upon X two minus X equals to N by N. Now we will do the cross multiplication, correct? So here N multiplied by X. And x 
minus n multiplied by x1 and x1 okay and x1 equals 2 okay so here n multiplied by x2 mx2 minus n multiplied by x mx okay so here you can write mx2 minus mx now we will do the transposing rule okay this x lx1 will shift to this end and this will take to this end right so n x minus will come here plus mx equals to mx2 plus mx1 okay so here we will take this x is common here x common in bracket for n plus n is equal to right? n plus n okay no problem n plus n equals to mx2 plus n x1 now we have to find x so x equals to what mx2 plus mx1 upon this this is multiplied here that it will come divide so m plus n okay here we got the x coordinate and similarly we will find for the y okay so here y minus y1 y minus y1 upon y2 minus y okay equals to m by n okay again cross multiplication is there then here n into y n y minus n y1 equals to n y2 minus n y okay so here again we will use the same transposing rule then you will get here this n y will transfer here n y plus n y equals to n y2 plus n y1 okay so in this way here you will get this what is common here here common is y saying like here the states right x so finally again you will get here y common and n plus n is inside the bracket so finally you will get the y value so we can write here directly here hence y equals to what n y2 plus n y1 n y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n okay so, so this y and x are whose coordinates are having the p correct so we got here p of x comma y is equal to in bracket for mx2 plus n x1 upon n plus n comma n y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n and this is called for your section formula correct this is your section formula means we have to find the coordinates of the p that point who divides this line segment a b internally in the ratio what is given supposed to be m by m is to n means a ratio is given and again the end points of your segment is also given then we can find the coordinates of that point correct so this is your section formula similarly if the part of the midpoint formula see midpoint means what this line segment any length right so a b is the line segment exactly divided into equal parts that is called this is the midpoint okay so ratio suppose this is the a centimeter then how many distance this four and this distance is four centimeter correct so what is the ratio of this a b by b will become four by four means what one by one so ratio will become for this one by one right so when midpoint formula is there then what is a value one and n value will One means we have to take that one is to one ratio, right? So finally you will get what m x two plus n x one is here one and this one. So midpoint formula in that what midpoint if we have to find, then we do by midpoint formula will be there. Okay, what are the coordinates of this p of x comma y will be that x two plus x one by n plus n comma means this n plus n means what one plus one two will be there right and y two plus y one by two this is your midpoint formula okay understood so here once again read see this derivation proper thing and we will solve the examples of this section formula okay.
which divides the line segment joining the points 6,3 and minus 4,5 in the ratio 3 to 2 internally, right? In the section formula we have the then see here according to that we will do here. This is the line segment AB. We will take this as the point. This point A and point B, right? And ratio 3 is to 2, right? So M is to N is what? 3 is to 2. Now here the coordinates of the point which divide here on this line segment one of the points. So this point P will take here. P, which coordinates we will take that x comma y, right? So we have to find the coordinates of the point, coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining these two points internally in the ratio 3 is to 2, right? So here internally in the ratio means this m is to n, correct? So what is m is to n here? Given 3 is to 2. So ratio is given 3 is to 2, correct? So which are the coordinates of the point A? 6, 3 and B, right? Minus 4, 5, correct? Now see here, here let me take points, let the points, which points, that segment joining these two points for, let the points A, 6, 3 and B, minus 4, 5, right? And the point which divide the line segment, we will take this point P, right? And another point, the point which divide the line segment okay which point P that x comma by n ratio is what n is to n right so n is to n is what 3 is to 2 okay so we have to find the coordinates of this point P that divides this line segment A B internally in the ratio 3 is to 2. Correct. So what is the formula? Yes. So here P of coordinates of this x comma y if we have to find out then what is the formula for section formula? We will use the section formula for mx2 plus nx1 upon n plus n comma ny2 plus ny1 upon n plus n. This is your section formula, correct? So we will just put the values of this here. You have to find this p of x comma y. This coordinates of the p we have to find everything with us, right? This is x1, y1 and here x2, y2, correct? Now see what is n? n is your 3 and n, n is your 2, correct? So m x2. So here this 3 multiplied by what is x2? x2 is your minus 4, correct? So 3 multiplied by minus 4 plus n, n is what? 2, 2 multiplied by x1. x1 is what you are? 6, right? Upon n plus n is 3 plus 2. Okay, 3 plus 2. Comma here, n y 2. n is what you are? 3. Multiply by y 2. y 2 is what? 5. Plus n y 1. n is what you are? 3. Sorry, n is 2. Multiply by what? y 1. y 1 is what you are? 3. Right? Here, n x n y 2 plus n y 1 upon n plus n. n plus n is what? 3 plus 2. Right? Now here, make the simple simplification. 3 for the 12, but minus 12 plus 6 to the 12 upon 5. Comma, 5 to the 15 plus 3 to the 6 upon 5. Okay, here, P of x comma 1 equals to minus 12 plus 12. 0, 0 by 5, 0, okay? So here, 0 and 15 plus 6, 21, 21 by 5. 
Okay, so 21 by 5. So these are the coordinates of the point P which divides the line segment AB which are the points 6, 3 and minus 4, 5 internally in the ratio 3 is to 2. Okay, now in this we will see the next example. Right? So here we will find 
find the coordinates of p of x comma y so m m is what your this is your m and this is your n so m is what 1 multiply by x2 x2 is your minus 3 correct plus n n is 2 multiply by what x1 x1 is 1 upon n plus n is 1 plus 2 comma n y2 what is n 1 y2 4 plus n 2 multiply by y1 minus 2 upon what 1 plus 2 correct so here you will get what 3 ones are 3 but minus 3 plus 2 ones are 2 upon 1 plus 2 Three here four ones are four plus minus here finally we get minus two two are four by three correct so coordinates of the point B are what x comma y is equal to here minus three plus two how many minus one so minus one by three here minus one by three comma four minus four up Equals to zero zero ma upon three. Here you will get zero means what? Here the coordinates of the point P that x comma y means x is what minus one by three and y is what zero. Understood? Now similarly we will find the coordinates of the point Q. Correct? So similarly, okay, Q of the point will be x comma y. So here m x two. Here m will what will be there? M x we have to find first what is the ratio when we will take the point Q. Correct for the transition here up till from A to Q. How many equal distances are here? This one and this one two. So here for here what will be there? M is two. Correct and Q to B. So how many distances here? M So n is one. So here distance is in one equal part. So we will take that n n is one. So here ratio will be what? N is to n is what? Two is to one. Correct. This is the ratio for point two. Correct. So here now we will go according to your section formula, right? So what is the section formula say? What m x two plus n x one. Okay. So n is what here? Two. Multiply by x two, x three is what minus three plus n x one. N is what one multiply by what is x one? X one is what you are one upon two plus one. Correct? Comma. Now what? What n y two? So n is what two multiply by y one. Y two y two is four plus n y one. What is n? N is your one multiplied by y one is your minus two. Correct? Upon n plus n. Okay, n is what? Two plus one. Then three two zero six minus six plus one upon three comma four two zero. A minus two upon three, right? So here minus five by three will be there. Here minus five by three, comma a minus two six six by three three two zero six. Okay. So these are the coordinates of the point Q to x comma y. So here we have to find the coordinates of the point which intersects the line segment joining. The points these and these. Okay, so these are the points of intersection. These are the points of intersection Q and P and Q. So what are the coordinates of the first point P? First point P, that is the coordinates are minus one by three comma zero. And second point Q, Q having the coordinates are minus five by three and two. Understood? Now we will see the next one example. Does the x-axis divide the line segment joining 
the points P, the points two comma minus three and five comma six also find the coordinates of the point of intersection. Correct? Now see in what ratio means we have to find the ratio exactly n is to n. Correct? So in what ratio does the x axis divide? Here first in the example, for example, we have seen that the one of the point I just mentioned. Now here, the, in what ratio does the x axis divide the line segment joining the points these two points? Okay, and also we have to find the coordinates of the point of intersection, right? Now here we will see the first what this is your coordinate axis. Which axis? Right. This x o x dash y o y dash. Right. Now this x axis. Now according to the example, in what ratio does x axis divide the line segment? Means here one of the line segments supposed to be this point is A and this point is B or here this internally divide the x axis divide here. So x axis divided. So we we'll take this, right? So here on the x axis, the point is on the x axis. So we we'll take this supposed to be the point P here, and coordinates on of point P. What we do there? This segment is divided by what x axis? X axis divides the line segment. So when x axis divide the line segment, so what are the coordinates will be here? This point on x axis, so of course x coordinate is there and y coordinate is what? 0. Correct? And these points, which points? 2, comma, minus 3 and 5, comma, 6. So here, we will take this point, which point? A and B. So what is A? A is your 2 comma minus 3 and what is B? What? 5 comma 6. Right? Now here we don't know what is the ratio. So we have to find the ratio. Correct? Now these three points, this divide this line segment. Right? So we have to find the coordinates of this also and else we have to find what ratio in what ratio. Correct? So here let we will take the points, let the points of line segment, end points of this line segment. What? A, 2 comma minus 3 and B, what? 5 comma 6 and the point of P, point P, which the coordinates of the point B x comma z correct because x axis divides right so this x axis divides this line segment right now we will use the dissection formula bisection formula okay what x comma zero means p of x comma 0 equals to what is the section formula mx2 plus nx1 upon n plus n right and m y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n okay so here n plus n and comma n y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n okay so it means that this is the x coordinate and this is y coordinate. Correct? Now here x equals to we will write mx2 plus mx2 plus nx1 upon n plus n. And here y equals to my2 plus my1 upon n plus n. Okay, we don't know what is the ratio. Right? So first we have to find the ratio here. M1 to X is what? X only here, correct? M. M we don't know, so we will take this M into, okay, X2. Now, what about the X1, Y1, and X2? Y2 this X1, Y1, and this is 
x2 y2 correct so mx2 x2 is what 5 right so n multiplied by 5 plus n multiplied by x1 x1 is your 2 upon n plus n is not given so we write n plus l correct and here this x equals to and here y equals to m y2 what is m m is m only right y2 y3 is what you are 6 plus n y1 n is only y1 y1 is minus 3 upon n plus l ok but now we will see properly record what is the y coordinate y coordinate value is of course 0 here right so instead of y we will put here y value is what 0 right so here if you will simplify then you will get this m plus l is divided here here in the multiply so after multiplying the x you will get mx plus nx right in this way if you will find anything you will not get at least what is the m or what is l correct so here 0 means what if you will this is the divisor of this cell correct now so if you transfer to this you will get 0 multiplied by m plus l so you will get of course 0 so 0 equals to what is remaining here 6 and minus how minus this plus and this minus so minus 3l okay 3l right now we can simplify here we write 6m minus 3l equals to 0 we will change this side minus 3l we will shift this side so you will get plus 3l correct so 6m equals to 3l okay now we have to find the ratio now it is easy to find the ratio now this m we will put as it is right this n we will shift to this side how n is here n is here multiplier here will be divisor so n by n correct now here what is remaining this 3 and similarly how we have transferred to n this side now we transfer 6 to this side so 6 how 6 multiply here will be divided right so 1s are and 2s are so you will get n by n equals to 1 by 2 it means that you got here ratio means ratio is what what is ratio n is to n equals to what 1 is to 2 understood here you got the ratio we have to find in what ratio does the x axis divide the line segment to the given points correct now similarly we have to find also find the coordinates of that point of intersection so we what is the point of intersection this this our p is the point of intersection of this line segment a b now we have to find the point of intersection means what actually we have to find the value of x because when x x is divided then y coordinates will go 0 correct now so here here how we can get the x value we will use this correct so here x equals to mx2 plus nx1 upon l plus l ok m is what now you got 1 multiply by x2 x2 is what you are 5 plus n is what 2 multiply by x1 x1 is what you are 2 upon 1 plus 2 ok so here x equals to 5 multiply by 1 5 plus 2 multiply by 2 4 so 5 plus 4 9 9 by 3 so 3 1 the 3 3 3 the 9 so you got here 3 so x equals to 3 so point of intersection point of intersection p comma x p x comma 0 is what 3 comma 0 correct so this is the point of intersection is exactly this is the value of your x coordinates correct this is the x value is what 3 and y coordinate is 0 so here we have find the coordinates of the point of intersection so coordinates of the point of intersection 
is what 3 comma 0 understood everyone so here in this way we have to find we have to solve the given example and next example we will see on the next period